Hi, this is Greg Hughes. Welcome to another 90 second website builder video tutorial. I'm going to talk about images in this video. Images besides text are one of the most common things you'll put on your website, of course. And so we're going to do that in this tutorial. Now here I've opened up a project. It's a website that's about magic tricks. And so I've got some text and I've got some layers that are making a header and footer for me. And I've named this project already. I've already saved it and it's called Cool Magic Tricks. That's the name of the project. You can see that up here at the very top of the screen. The name of the project always shows there. You can also see it in the in the uh, site manager. If I move the camera over so you can see the site manager a little bit, the name of your project is always at the top of the site manager right there. And it's always important, of course, to save your work, and when you do, it asks you to name your project. So you name it something sensible. But we're here to talk about images, and I want to show you how 90 second website builder works with images it's very very simple you don't have to really think much except where you want to put images but in behind the scenes the software is doing an amazing thing i want you to know about so one of the things people ask is they say well when i build my website where should i store my images on my computer and the answer is you can actually store them anywhere you want to you don't have to store them in a special folder if you want to keep images on your desktop and some other images in your my documents folder you can store them anywhere you want and the reason is because 90 second website builder actually organizes the images for the website in the background for you as you save your work. Here's what I mean. So I've got a website about magic tricks and I want to put an image on my website but that image is stored on my desktop. So all I have to do is go get it. I grab the image tool, draw a box. Now I'm going to go to my desktop here because I've actually got a folder on my desktop that's got a bunch of magic trick graphics. In fact it's a folder called magic trick graphics. So I'm going to double click on it and inside this folder, which is on my desktop, is the image I want to use. It's called Magic Hat. Okay? So I'm going to click Open, and I'm done. So I've just placed an image on my website. It's that simple. Now I can just drag it and drop it into place. So I don't have to think much beyond that, but let me tell you what just happened, because it's really interesting and probably important for you to know what's happening a little bit behind the scenes. If I double-click on this image, of course, that's where I can set some special effects and other attributes, make it a link if I want to or whatever. But the other thing I can do is I can see where this image is coming from into my website. And right now, this image, as you'll remember, I went to my desktop and so it shows me that this image came from my desktop and is inside a folder called Magic Trick Graphics and there's the image itself. It's called magichat.png. So the software is just locating this image on my computer. This is the path to that image so that it can display it. That makes sense, doesn't it? But I want you to see what happens when I save my project. So I'm going to click OK to close that. So all I've done, remember, is I've just drug an image from my desktop onto my project. But I'm going to go up here to the menu and I'm just going to click this little button here one time that saves my work. I'm clicking it once. Of course, I could also do a control S, but I'm going to click it once. And now I've just saved my project. Pretty easy, right? And it doesn't look like anything happened. But of course, a couple things did. One, my project got saved. That's good. But the other thing that happened is 90 Second Website Builder, kind of secretly behind the scenes, made a copy of this image and stored it in a new place. So now when I double click, you can see that the path to this object is different than it was. It's no longer coming from my desktop. It's now being stored in a very special place, the 90 second website builder folder, it, which is inside my documents folder. And inside the 90 second website builder folder, there is a folder called Cool Magic Tricks. Now, I didn't make that folder. The software made that folder when I set up this project. And that folder is special. It's where the software stores my images as I save my work. So right now, this image is now coming from the project's asset folder location. Okay, hopefully that's not too complicated. And you don't really need to know this, but I think it's kind of a good idea for you to see what's happening because that way you know 90 Second Website Builder is organizing your files for you. So essentially what happened is there was an image on my desktop. And by the way, that image is still there. And when I saved my work, 90 Second Website Builder made a copy of that image and put it inside this special folder so that my website project will always have access to it. So in other words, now there's actually two copies of this image on my computer, the original one on the desktop and the one inside the project folder. 
So that's kind of important to know. What's great about that is if the image that I originally used for my desktop maybe got moved to a different folder or maybe somehow got deleted, I don't have to worry about that because 90 Second Website Builder has already saved a copy of my image in a special place so that it will always be on the website until, of course, I decide to delete it, which I can do too. But let me show you another case. I'm going to put another image on here. I'm going to bring it from a different location. So I'm going to get the image tool and just draw a box. And this time, the image I want is not inside this folder. I'm going to go back up to my desktop, and I have another folder on my desktop, uh, which is some graphics collection. If you have purchased 90 Second Website Builder, the full version, you also have access to these graphics that I'm getting into. You have access to thousands and thousands of graphics in the members download area. And so I'm going to use one of these. In fact, we actually have a category for magic tricks. I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to use this one. So here's another image coming from a different location on my computer that I can just simply put in my website like that. Remember, all I've done is draw a box, go locate the image, click open, and I'm done. But again, let me double click on this so you can see what's happening. So there it is. It's taking this image from my desktop where there's a folder called 90 sec members graphics, where there's another folder called magic, where there's an image called this gamesolve.png. And that's where the image is right now. So let me close this by saying, okay, I'm gonna go save my project. It's very important that you save your work often. So I'm clicking the save button. Now I'm gonna go back and look at the path. So I know that 90 second website builder has now saved a copy of this image inside the 90 second website builder directory where, of course, there's a folder called Cool Magic Tricks, the name of my project, and now this image. That's great. So this is really important that it's happening behind the scenes because you don't have to worry about where you've stored your images, where they're coming from. They can come from all different directions of your, on your website. It doesn't matter where they come from. What does matter is that you save your work because as you save your work, the software is organizing where those files are being stored in the background. Hopefully that information will help you understand that all you really need to do to use the image tool is to simply grab the image tool from the toolbox, draw a box, and place images wherever you want to on your website as you design your site with this great program we call 90 Second Website Builder.